Mr. President. Senator from Tennessee. Mr. President, uh, one of my chief responsibilities as Chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee is to help protect the men, women, and institutions that keep America safe, including not only the State Department, but the North Atlantic Treaty Alliance. NATO was founded in 1949 as an alliance committed to collective defense of its members. That an attack on one of its on one constitutes an attack on all. The alliance self-defense clause not, has only been invoked once after 9-11 when our allies deployed with, with us to Afghanistan. Our military's working together allows NATO to function. NATO members have committed to spending 2% of their GDP on their militaries, but only the United Kingdom, Estonia, Poland, Greece, and the United States currently hit that goal. While the other members are working on growing their defense budgets, I've long held the belief that they must do so faster. Regardless, part of what makes NATO great is its open door. States that are interested in becoming allies are encouraged to join the Partnership for Peace. When, when those states then meet the criteria for membership, they are welcomed into the alliance. This process is exactly what occurred with Montenegro. Just after, beginning an, just after becoming an independent country in the June of 2006, Montenegro joined the Partnership for Peace in December 2006. Exactly three years later, Montenegro obtained its membership action plan. Six years after that, NATO recognized that Montenegro had met all the necessary standards for membership and invited the country to begin talks to become part of the alliance. Then in May of 2016, NATO foreign ministers signed the protocol to formally open the way for Montenegro to join. As of today, every other NATO member has already ratified this treaty and Montenegro's inclusion. Beyond such procedural steps, Montenegro has long been contributing to shared security challenges. For example, Montenegro actively supported the NATO-led operation in Afghanistan from 2010 until its end in 2014, and now, now is supporting the follow-on mission to train, advise, and assist Afghan security forces. It is important to note that Montenegro has taken these steps despite Russia's best efforts to undermine their progress every step of the way. I want to thank Senator Ben Cardin, Europe Subcommittee Chairman Ron Johnson, and my other colleagues on the Senate Foreign Relations Committee for their support and constructive work in this process. We have moved this treaty ratification twice now, once in the last Congress and again in January to demonstrate our commitment to NATO and to Montenegro. I also want to thank Senator McCain, both as a former member of our committee, as well as the chair of the Armed Services Committee, for his unwavering support for bringing Montenegro into the alliance. Lastly, on behalf of the committee, I urge all of my colleagues to support this treaty, this treaty amendment that serves the American security interests for a strong NATO. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor.